Here's a quick QuickBooks tip you're gonna love, which is customizing this left navigation bar. So let's talk about customizing this left navigation bar. By default, you're gonna see um, about 10 different icons in there, business overview, getting things done, banking, customer leads, etc. You can actually disable and enable which of these items you would like to see. So to do that, simply click on the three, three little buttons right there next to any of the menu items, and then you click on that, and then click on where it says customize this menu. Once you click on customize this menu, in here you can uh, disable any of the ones you don't want to see. So for example, I don't want to see apps, I don't want to see commerce, and I don't want to see get paid and pay, for example. And I also want to see taxes all the way in the top, and then let's say banking second, and customers and leads third. So that's it, that's, that's the control you have to enable and disable the default menu items and also change the order. So I'm gonna click on save, and there we go. You see that my left navigation bar looks a lot different. The stuff that I hit is actually hidden or grouped under a little more sort of bucket folder in there so I could always go back and access them without having to actually enable them. The other cool part about uh, customizing the left navigation bar is adding custom bookmarks. So I click on add bookmark, and then here under bookmarks, I can select any of the custom uh, areas or shortcuts that I wanna get to. So for example, let's say I quickly wanna get into bank transactions, and I also wanna get into chart of accounts, I wanna get into customers, I wanna get into invoices, I wanna get into uh, projects, and I wanna get into reports, all in sort of a single click. So I'm gonna click on save, and now we're gonna see that under my sort of default menu items, now I'm gonna see under bookmarks all these direct links, and I guess, and you guessed it, I can also customize it and change the order so I can put reports all the way in the top or chart of accounts all the way in the top, whatever I think is my priority. Then I click on save, and then I go back and I see my left navigation bar, all my direct links are there. So if I click on chart of accounts, boom, one click access to chart of accounts, reports, one click access to reports. It's also worth mentioning that this customization feature only works in business view. Let me show you what that means. Here in the top right of the screen, there's a gear menu. And then when I click on that gear menu, I have the option to switch to accountant view or to business view. So if I was in accountant view, not in business view, if I was in accountant view, you would notice on the left navigation bar that, um, that the wording and the menu I looks different. And um, if you see this and you don't see sort of those little icons and the customizable button, that means you are in accountant view and now you have to flip over to business view. Again, to flip over to business view, we click on the gear menu on the top right and then we click on where it says switch to business view and that will switch you back into the business view, which is the one that's fully customizable. I also wanna add one more thing. Customizing your left navigation bar is not the same thing as having a custom Google Chrome shortcuts folder. So I have an entirely different video, I'll put it in the description, that talks about this little tip that I have here, which is having your own custom folder in Google Chrome with custom bookmarks. And in that video, I'll show you how to create your own custom bookmarks, where you can actually add a lot more functionality, a lot more shortcuts, and this is not a QuickBooks function, this is simply a browser function. All you have to do is sort of compile all the different links to all the features, inside QuickBooks Online and put them in there. And also for the reports, you know, with a custom uh, Google Chrome folder, a bookmarks menu, you can actually have every single type of report in a one-click access right from uh, this menu bar. So if you're interested on that, I will put a link to the, a different video that explains how to go about building your own or how to downloading my own one because I built one that I also make available for people if they want to get that as well. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and that notification bell if you want to see more videos just like this in the future. Thanks.